the competition takes apprentices that are close to finishing their time or almost finishing their time, brings them into a, um, an environment where they're put under pressure, they're tested on all the disciplines, automotive mechanics, the heavy vehicle section, we also have the panel beaters, spray painters and auto electrical. As far as Kangan's concerned, we've pretty much got a contestant in every discipline, which is really good and it shows that Kangan is, a, is one of the leaders in the automotive training industry. I found out about World Skills through my trade school, Kangan. They uh, came, approached me one day and asked me to represent them in the heavy vehicles class. I thought it was just going to be a little competition, turn up on the day, do the job and go home. But it uh, turns out it's definitely something a lot bigger than what I assumed. It's a self-test to me, the World Skills event. You've won something to get here. You're competing against the best from each state in Australia. I'm not overly worried about results. I'd be happy getting about mid-pack. Not worried about time and sort of relax a bit and use workshop manuals and work my way through a bit more logically rather than going like a pull in the china shop. Day one was actually intense. The pressure is crazy, but I eventually got there. Just the first day alone, I've, I've, some things I've never done before and I feel completely comfortable with them now. The theory that we go over at Kangan is it's covered everything we do, everything they've taught me I've needed. First day of competition is always hard. Once you've done that first challenge, things start to settle down and you get into a groove and then you can just flow through. Day two, I got started on rail sectional and subskirt frame. Interior, exterior. Pull down and rebuild an engine. Diagnosing sensor faults. and Rebuilding a starter motor. Changing it from corner to corner, etc, etc. I pretty much just had to pick up where I left off. My teacher from Kangan, Perry, he's been coming in every day, just making sure everything's all right. Day three, I'm pretty stressed out. I'm feeling really tired actually at the moment. Yesterday was crazy. Um, couldn't get much sleep. Everyone's making mistakes, so just got to try and minimise and go from there, really. I've never been through anything so intense before. There was a lot of stuff I wasn't expecting. It's definitely going to be a challenge. As far as world skills competition, any skills competition, it's always good to do. It gives you a bit of insight into what other people in the industry do, how your skills measure up against other technicians and other apprentices. I feel a bit upset now that it's over because I have enjoyed it. I feel like I've um, bettered myself by coming here. To someone else, I would honestly say, do what you do and just enjoy it. It's a once in a lifetime experience. If they are given the chance, I'd say jump at it straight away. It will prepare me for anything that hits me in the future. Pretty stoked that I got the opportunity thanks to uh, Kangan. I think my training's helped me arrive here at this competition because it's helped me learn the basics as well as the more advanced sections which I need to be able to compete. It doesn't feel like school, even though it is. It's just lots of fun.